This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's me Andrew here and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 10,000 plus fonts for free and you can use these fonts in Photoshop or any other program. Today, as you guys can tell, it's Saturday, May 4th. I will upload this video on, Sat on Sunday, May 5th, 2013. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. First thing you want to do is go over to the link which I have in the description uh, right here. It's going to say the best font pack in the world. Um, there's a bigger font pack that I also have that link in the description so you guys can download it and install if you want 30,000 fonts. And, uh, but yeah, 30,000 fonts, 10,000 fonts, pretty much the same thing. Uh, the other one is like 700 megabytes and this one is like 417. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and get the torrent. You're going to need uTorrent for it to work. So I have my uTorrent client right here. It's already done. When you're done, you can seed it if you want to. But uh, yeah, I don't seed. <laughs> then once you have that, uh, you want to click on this right here, it will continue, and you're going to need either WinRAW or you can use the regular um, Windows zip file manager, but I do recommend WinRAW over everything. Uh, so yeah, you want to create a folder on your desktop or anywhere you want, call it 10,000 K fonts, alright? And then those in that folder, uh, make a folder called Categories and make a folder called Fonts. And you guys get the point. You pretty much go over to where you click on that and take you here. Copy everything, drag it to your fonts folder. Okay, I'm not gonna do that because I already have the fonts in there. All right. And another thing you want to do is go to the category.zip. These are just um, pretty much it gives you an overview of every single font that you have in the pack. Drag it to categories. Okay. Then once that's done, close. I should go back once that's done, and then install this font viewer. Okay, install that like a regular program. All right, and once it's done, open it up. Okay, once you have it opened, uh, go to File, Open Font Folder. The font folder will open up. All right, this is the most boring part of the tutorial, and I haven't figured out a better way to install the the uh, font as a group yet. So when I do. I will make an update video, but for now, this is the only old method of me doing it. Right now, I'm up to um, D fonts or t fonts with the title D. So what you want to do is you want to open up the font folder, okay? Each font category, so this one right here, um, sharp fonts, A fonts, and then once you open it up, press Control A on your keyboard. You guys can see the little uh, thing right there. So let me do it again. You press Control A, and then just drag the fonts in here. It will copy everything, and this is right here 498 fonts just in that one folder. Then go back, do the same thing for e fonts, and it um, doesn't take that long, but it's still annoying that you're actually going back and coming back into the font folder and just keep doing that. You just can't drag the folder, or it won't work. You see, that won't work. I tried that, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop, and I think I was at F. Um, yeah, drag and drop it. So you guys get the point. Uh, you keep on doing that until you reach the end of this, and it's pretty much at Z. Um, right here, this gives you the Explore font fold, font uh, viewer setup. So you don't need to. You can, you can skip font viewers, and you can jump straight to G and continue installing the fonts. Um, what else do we need to do? That's about it. So this is a very short tutorial. It's not that hard. It's really easy, but it's just annoying installing the fonts because, well, you're gonna have to just drag and drop, drag and drop. It will take you around five minutes to do it. Um, depend on the right speed of your computer. But oh well, it's only so each font is only like a couple of kilobytes, so it wouldn't take you that long. Uh, but yeah, if this video helped you out, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. It's been me, Andrew the Kid. Later.